Anal fistula. Definition. Anal fistula is a chronic abnormal communication between the epithelialized surface of the anal canal and usually the perianal skin. An anal fistula can be described as a narrow tunnel with its internal opening in the anal canal and its external opening in the skin near the anus. An anal fistula is a small tunnel that develops between the end of the bubble and the skin near the anus. An anal fistula is a communicating tract between the inner anus or rectum and the external skin surrounding the anus. It begins as a superficial ulcer that becomes infected creating an anal abscess that subsequently bursts leaving a communicating tract between the internal anus and the external skin of the perianal region. Types Depending on their relationship with the internal and external sphincter muscles, fistulae are classified into five types. Extra sphincteric fistulae begin at the rectum or sigmoid colon and proceed downward through the levator ani muscle and open into the skin surrounding the anus. Note that this type does not arise from the dentate line, where the anal glands are located. Causes of this type could be from a rectal, pelvic or supralevator origin, usually secondary to Crohn's disease or an inflammatory process such as appendiceal or diverticular abscesses. Suprasphincteric fistulae begin between the internal and external sphincter muscles, extend above and cross the puborectalis muscle, proceed downward between the puborectalis and levator ani muscles, and open an inch or more away from the anus. Transphincteric fistulae begin between the internal and external sphincter muscles or behind the anus, cross the external sphincter muscle and open an inch or more away from the anus. These may take a U shape and form multiple external openings. This is sometimes termed a horseshoe fistula. Intersphincteric fistulae begin between the internal and external sphincter muscles, pass through the internal sphincter muscle, and open very close to the anus. Submucosal fistulae pass superficially beneath the submucosa and do not cross either sphincter muscle. Cause Most anal fistulas develop after an anal abscess. If the abscess does not heal properly after the pus has drained away it can leave a small channel behind. Less common causes of anal fistulas include Crohn's disease, an inflammatory disease of the intestine Radiation, treatment for cancer Trauma Sexually transmitted diseases Tuberculosis Diverticulitis, a disease in which small pouches form in the large intestine and become inflamed Cancer Pathophysiology Clinical manifestations Symptoms of an anal fistula can include Frequent anal abscesses Pain and swelling around the anus Bloody or foul-smelling drainage pus, from an opening around the anus The pain may decrease after the fistula drains Irritation of the skin around the anus from drainage Pain with bowel movements Bleeding Fever, chills and a general feeling of fatigue Diagnostic evaluation History taking, if client has persistent symptoms of an anal fistula. Client is asked about his symptoms and whether he has any bubble conditions, with previous medical, surgical, dietary, personal, occupational and socio-economic history. Physical examination Digital rectal examination the surgeon may examine anus by gently inserting a lubricated gloved finger inside rectum to check for signs of a fistula. An anoscopy is a procedure in which a special instrument is used to see inside anus and rectum. A proctoscopy, where a special telescope with the light on the end is used to look inside anus. Possible findings includes The opening of the fistula onto the skin may be observed. The area may be painful on examination. There may be redness. An area of induration may be felt, thickening due to chronic infection. A discharge may be seen. The diagnosis is made clinically, and confirmed by an examination under anesthesia, EUA, where a probe is gently inserted into the fistula tract to confirm a communication between the outside perianal skin and the internal lining of the anal canal. Occasionally endoanal ultrasound, O, or magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, are needed to determine the number and direction of fistula tracts, and to determine the amount of muscle sphincter involved prior to any planned surgery. Management 
currently. There is no medical treatment available for anal fistula and surgery is almost always necessary to cure an anal fistula. Fistlotomy Layopen of Fistulae Nano This option involves an operation to cut the fistula open. Once the fistula has been laid open it will be packed on a daily basis for a short period of time to ensure that the wound heals from the inside out. This option leaves behind a scar, and depending on the position of the fistula in relation to the sphincter muscle, can cause problems with incontinence. This option is not suitable for fistulae that cross the entire internal and external anal sphincter. Fistulotomy is a surgical procedure where a fistulous tract is excised, cut out, completely. This is compared with fistulotomy, where the fistulous tract is merely laid open to heal. Cutting set on, if the fistula is in a high position and it passes through a significant portion of the sphincter muscle, a cutting set on, from the Latin seta, bristle, may be used. This involves inserting a thin tube through the fistula tract and tying the ends together outside of the body. The set on is tightened over time, gradually cutting through the sphincter muscle and healing as it goes. Set on stitch, a length of suture material loop through the fistula which keeps it open and allows pus to drain out. In this situation, the set on is referred to as a draining set on. The stitch is placed close to the anorectal ring which encourages healing and makes further surgery easy. Fibring glue injection, fibring glue injection is one such option, in which fibring glue is injected into the fistula tract to obliterate the tract with the intention of becoming incorporated in the surrounding tissue. It has the advantage of avoiding dividing any sphincter muscle, thereby preserving continence. Anal fistula plug. An anal fistula plug is an elongated piece of material made from small intestinal submucosa that is placed throughout the length of the fistula tract to fill the tract space and incorporate itself into the tissue around it. The plug also has the advantage of not requiring division of the sphincter muscle. Endonal advancement flap. An endonal advancement flap is a procedure usually reserved for complex fistulas. In this procedure, the internal opening of the fistula is covered over by healthy, native tissue in an attempt to close the point of origin of the fistula. Colostomy, to allow healing. Lift technique also known as ligation of intersphinteric fistula tract procedure. Lift procedure is based on secure closure of the internal opening and removal of infected cryptoglandular tissue through the intersphinteric approach. Essential steps of the procedure include incision at the intersphinteric groove, identification of the intersphinteric tract, ligation of intersphinteric tract close to the internal opening and removal of intersphinteric tract, scraping out all granulation tissue in the rest of the fistulous tract, and suturing of the defect at the external sphincter muscle. Fistula clip closure, OTSC proctology, is the latest surgical development, which involves the closure of the internal fistula opening with a superelastic clip made of nitinol, OTSC. During surgery, the fistula tract is debrided with a special fistula brush and the clip is transonally applied with the aid of a preloaded clip applicator. Perfect procedure is another latest addition to the armamentarium to treat complex and highly complex fistulae nano. Perfect procedure, proximal superficial cauterization, Emptying regularly fistula tracts and curettage of tracts entails two steps, superficial cauterization of mucosa at and around the internal opening and keeping all the tracts clean. The principle is to permanently close the internal opening by granulation tissue. This is achieved by superficial electrocauterization at and around the internal opening and subsequently allowing the wound to heal by secondary intention. Postoperative care. Bleeding. Spotting of blood or persistent minor oozing will occur for 5 days and a sanitary napkin changed once to twice daily will be needed to prevent staining. Bleeding will typically occur after opening bowels. If the bleeding is more than a couple of teaspoons a day, notify surgeon. Laxatives A tablespoon of natural psyllium husk, metamucil registered trademark symbol or fibogel registered trademark symbol, 3 times daily is recommended the first 2 weeks after surgery. Pain control. A non-steroidal is recommended such as 400 mg of ibuprofen, brufane registered trademark symbol, along with two tablets of paracetamol up to three times a day. 
opioid medications endin, may sometimes be needed, but should be used sparingly as they cause constipation. Antibiotics Oral Augmentin Duo Fort Register trademark symbol twice daily, if not allergic to penicillin, for five days is adequate. Otherwise Cefazolin, Keflex Register trademark symbol, and Metronidazole, Flagyl Register trademark symbol. Dressings A simple pad is all that is usually required, changed twice daily. Sits Baths Twice daily warm to hot salt water, sits, Bathing to the anal region is soothing and antiseptic, and should be done for one to two weeks following procedure. Put a handful of salt into a shallow bath of warm to hot water and sit there for 10 to 30 minutes. Complications Complications may occur in the immediate or delayed postoperative period. Several difficulties may present shortly after the surgical procedure. These include Urinary retention Heavy bleeding or discharge from the fistulotomy site. Clot formation inside an existing hemorrhoids. And. Fecal impaction. Other complications that commonly present somewhat later after the procedure may include. Anal stenosis. Recurrence of the fistula. Bubble incontinence. And. Delayed wound healing. The wound remains unhealed for longer than 12 weeks. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.